Welcome to DC Digital Learning. This is Bachelor of Science Mathematics Real Analysis class. And in this class, we are going to discuss kinds of improper integrals. First, recall the definition of improper integral. The definite integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b, is called an improper integral if it is not a proper integral. That is, if the interval of integration, closed interval a b is not finite, but f of x is bounded on closed interval a b, or the interval of integration, closed interval a b is finite, but f of x is unbounded on closed interval a b, or neither the interval of integration, closed interval a b is finite, nor f of x is bounded on closed interval a b. Kinds of improper integrals Based on the domain of integration and the integrand, improper integrals can be classified into two kinds. Improper integrals of first kind and improper integrals of second kind. Improper integrals of first kind The definite integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is called an improper integral of first kind if the interval of integration closed interval a b is infinite and the integrand f of x is bounded on it that is either a equals minus infinity or b equals infinity or both and f of x is bounded on closed interval a b so improper integrals of first kind look like the following integral of f of x dx from a to infinity or integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to b or integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to infinity. Examples for improper integrals of first kind 1. Integration of sin square x dx from 0 to infinity 2. Integration of 1 by square root of x dx from 1 to infinity in these two integrals, upper limit is infinity. Third one, integration of e raised to 2x dx from minus infinity to 0. Fourth one, integration of sin hx dx from minus infinity to 0. In these two integrals, the lower limit is minus infinity. Fifth one, integration of dx by x square plus 2x plus 2 from minus infinity to infinity. Sixth one, Integration of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from minus infinity to infinity. In these two integrals, lower limit is minus infinity and upper limit is infinity. Convergence of improper integrals of first kind. If f of x is integrable on closed interval a, b, then the improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to infinity is defined as Integral of f of x dx from a to infinity equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a to b as b tends to infinity. Improper integral, integral of f of x dx a to infinity is said to be convergent if the limit on RHS exists finitely. Otherwise, it is said to be divergent. If f of x is integrable on closed interval a, b, then the improper integral, integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to b is defined as integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to b equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a to b as a tends to minus infinity. Improper integral, integral of f of x dx minus infinity to b is said to be convergent if the limit on RHS exists finitely, otherwise it is said to be divergent. If f of x dx is integrable on closed interval a, b, then the improper integral, integral f of x dx from minus infinity to infinity is defined as integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to infinity equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a to c as a tends to minus infinity plus limit of integral of f of x dx from c to b as b tends to infinity 
where c is any real number. Improper integral, integral of f of x dx from minus infinity to infinity is said to be convergent if both the limits on RHS exist finitely. Otherwise, it is said to be divergent. Now we shall move to improper integrals of second kind. The definite integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is called an improper integral of second kind if the interval of integration closed interval a b is finite and the integrand f of x has one or more points of infinite discontinuity on closed interval a b. If f of x has only one point of infinite discontinuity then it may be either of the limits or any real number c in the open interval a b. f of x may have more than one point of infinite discontinuity. Let us look at some examples for improper integrals of second kind. First one, integral of 1 by x square dx from 0 to 1. Here, the domain of integration is finite, but the integrand 1 by x square has a singular point when x equal to 0. Second one, integral of 1 by 2 minus x dx from 1 to 2. Here also, the domain of integration is finite, but the integrand has singularity when x equal to 2. Third one, integral of 1 by x minus 1 into 4 minus x dx from 1 to 4. Here, domain of integration is finite, but the lower limit 1 and upper limit 4 are singular points of the integrand. Fourth one, integral of 1 by x square dx from minus 1 to 1. Here, the domain of integration is finite, but the integrand 1 by x square has singular point at x equal to 0, which is an interior point of the domain of integration. Convergence of improper integrals of second kind. If x equals a is the only point of infinite discontinuity, then the improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is defined as integral of f of x dx from a to b equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a plus epsilon to b as epsilon tends to 0 from right. Improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is said to be convergent if the limit on RHS exists finitely. Otherwise, it is said to be divergent. If x equals b is the only point of infinite discontinuity, then the improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is defined as integral of f of x dx from a to b equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a to b minus epsilon as epsilon tends to 0 from right. Improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is said to be convergent if the limit on RHS exists finitely. Otherwise, it is said to be divergent. If x equals c belongs to open interval a b is the only point of infinite discontinuity, then the improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is defined as Integral of f of x dx from a to b equals limit of integral of f of x dx from a to c minus epsilon 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus limit of integral of f of x dx from c plus epsilon 2 to b as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right. The improper integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b is said to be convergent if both the limits on RHS exist finitely. Otherwise, it is said to be divergent. Note, if f of x has more than one point of infinite discontinuity, say a less than c1, which is less than c2, which is less than b, then the above definition is extended as integral of f of x dx from a to b equals Limit of integral of f of x dx from a to c1 minus epsilon 1 as epsilon 1 tends to 0 from right plus 
limit of integral of f of x dx from c1 plus epsilon 2 to c as epsilon 2 tends to 0 from right plus limit of integral of f of x dx from c to c2 minus epsilon 3 as epsilon 3 tends to 0 from right plus limit of integral of f of x dx from c2 plus epsilon 4 to b as epsilon 4 tends to 0 from right where c is any real number in open interval c1 c2 remark improper integrals of third kind the definite integral integral of f of x dx from a to b is called an improper integral of third kind if the interval of integration closed interval a b is infinite and the integrand f of x has one or more points of infinite discontinuity on closed interval a b for example integral of e raised to minus x by square root of x dx from 0 to infinity is an improper integral of third kind however improper integrals of third kind can be expressed in terms of improper integrals of first and second kind that's all in this video thank you